Hi, my name is Angel Santos. I'm the owner of Grow My Brand and business coach for women. I get the fortunate opportunity to work with women small business owner to get them more business, more revenue, and more money. Thank you so much for watching. Today's Monday marketing tip is how to get more business using Facebook groups. Okay, so I'm sure you've seen it. You join a Facebook group and you have the person who posts on the hour every hour. It's too much. We thank you for your enthusiasm. We thank you for your eagerness. However, it's just too much to digest. And really, it's inefficient because you're wasting content. We aren't going to read your 12 posts every day, especially if you're not the um, group's expert or the actual host of the group. If you are a member of a group, there is no reason why you should be posting more than max three posts a day because anything more than that, you're losing people. And, and think about it. Out of these five and eight posts you're doing, are you really getting engagement? Are people liking and commenting each post? If not, that's a sign that something needs to change, okay? So that's just a quick tip. However, it's definitely a bonus tip because it's not part of my official three tips to get more business using Facebook groups. And that's what I want to talk about today. And my first tip, let me go to my graphic that I created earlier today to make sure I deliver these in the right order. So my first tip, and I have my computer here, you can't see it. Um, I strategically kept it out of the shot. However, it is in front of me. So the first tip is to introduce yourself once a month. Have you noticed that the same people who were talking in the Facebook group that you joined when you first joined aren't talking now. The thing is, times change, businesses change, what you're focusing on in your business changes. And so, as I'm sure you have probably seen, sometimes you're more active in Facebook than others. And so what happens is that when you get quiet, other people get louder in the group and that just means more vocal with uh, frequent posting. And by the time you decide to resurface, we don't know who you are anymore. We forgot what you told us you do and what you offer and what makes you interesting and what we can relate to about you. So we need you to remind us. So once every month in every group that you're in, and don't be in too many groups if, if you can't really engage, um, introduce yourself. And what does that mean? So you could do a video like this. You could use a camera. The great thing is any cell phone these days makes a great video camera and you can post it directly to Facebook. So it makes it really easy. So a great way to reintroduce yourself is a video, just saying your name, uh, an interesting fact about you what you do and I would definitely include why you do what you do. Let us get to know you. Let us start to care and learn about your business, right? So the first tip, introduce yourself once a month. The second tip is engage at least once daily. And what does engage mean? This is such a biggie. If you don't do anything else, Remember this one. If you don't if you don't listen to any other Facebook webinar that you attend, I don't care if you pay for a Facebook coach, if you don't listen to anything else, please, please just me and you right here, me and you. Listen to this one tip. Engage once daily. That means actually like and comment on other members post in the group. So often I'll see members of Facebook groups, they'll, you know, like five to 10 uh, members comments and or post and they don't actually comment. Anybody can like, like I, I appreciate every like I get. Don't get me wrong. I do. However, a comment goes so much further. It shows you took the time to read uh, what someone posted. 
It shows that you're interested. It shows that you care. It shows that you're learning more about them. It obligates them to notice what you post and like what you post. So it, I'm, I'm telling you, if you don't do anything else, engage once daily. Pick a 15 minute time block when you're at home or on a break where you can just log into these groups and actually read and comment on different members post. I'm telling you, it, 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 it can make all the difference in the, the future business that you get from the members of the groups. When I first uh, started my social media networking earlier this year, because before February, I was not on Facebook at all. I had zero friends. I knew zero people in the, the business network that I was starting to build. I was at zero, 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 zero. And now I have a, a woman entrepreneur network, a Facebook group with uh, over 200 specifically women entrepreneurs. And I have almost 500 friends. And these are not people that I grew up with because my actual policy is that if I know you in real life, I'll just text you a picture of, of what I'm eating, right? I don't need a Facebook you. I can just text you. So everyone who I'm connected with on Facebook is actually for business and networking purposes. And a lot of the relationships that I built early on and I had friends saying, wait, you just got on Facebook. How do you know these women? Where are you finding these people? It's because I actually spent time engaging in the Facebook groups. I actually commented and made thoughtful insights on other members post I didn't just like their you know their posts and the last the last tip that I want to share is only sell after you share I have always had um, my group to be open where you just post and it wasn't moderated at all and I recently changed that because we just had a few people just doing so much and I, you know, feel it's my duty as the host of the group to protect um, the members from what can seem like spam, right? I didn't want to and hopefully in the future I'll be able to lift that because I'm really, I really enjoy when people can just freely post. However, I will do what I need to do to protect members from people just, you know, posting on the hour, every hour. Um, however, what I have seen, and I actually approve all the posts because I, um, it's our network, right? I, and I always tell you that it's not just my group, it's our network. That's why it's called Woman Entrepreneur Network. So I posted everyone's post that they submitted this last week uh, when I came back from vacation. What I noticed, however, is that a lot of you, uh, or a lot of, it seems like the newer members, um, posted, they just posted basically like a sale that was going on in their business. And the thing is, it's my policy, it's my thought that we should support each other. Like, I want to know what you do because if it aligns with something that I'm looking for, why wouldn't I come to you first knowing that you're a fellow women, uh, woman entrepreneur, knowing that you're a fellow small business owner, knowing that you are a, a like-minded person, why wouldn't I want to support you? So yes, it's important to inform people of what you have on sale, what product you're offering, what service you're offering, what conference that you have coming up. However, it's much more important that we get to know you first, that we know something about you. If you haven't ever posted, you just joined a group and before you say hello, you post something you're selling and you're wondering why nobody liked your post and why you didn't get any comments and why you didn't get any sales. I definitely don't say this to offend anyone. I honestly just want to help you. And if I haven't ever heard from you, I haven't seen you, you haven't engaged, the first thing I see is a service, then I don't even see the service because in my mind I'm thinking, Oh, you know, that person, because I'm a business coach, right? So I go straight to this, the strategy of it. So I'm thinking that person really should have, uh, what they should have done if they wanted to promote this sale is that they should have started um, 
maybe yesterday liking a few people's posts and commenting a few people's posts and even spent today liking and commenting and starting a conversation and then um, along with engaging today they should have posted one to two times with some helpful uh, helpful tips or you know a personal story something like that something so we can get to know you and then also strategically let us know about what you do and then maybe by that next day um you know say oh i have this great product i'm working on it ask our opinion on it and then the day after say thanks for all the input my product is ready and if any one of you is interested this is the link you see how that was a whole plan and it only took what that was the span of four to five days and now now we know you a little bit some of us probably like you not sure if we trust you however we're a little bit more invested because you asked our opinion on your product that would bring you business quicker than you joining a group on day one and day two before you introduce yourself before you told us a fun fact about you um anything you just posted uh either a, a text-based post about a service you're offering or perhaps it even had an image and then if you don't agree with my last tip this is what i would ask you how much engagement did you receive how much feedback how many likes how many comments did you receive on your post in you know the group or any groups you're doing that how many sales are you getting from it? Because if you're, you know, as they say, rolling in the dough from this method, um, which I would highly doubt. However, if you are, I would say if you use this tip to only sell after you share about yourself, about your business, um, you know, helpful tips. When you, when you come from a place of contribution, I'm telling you, you help others and they will be looking for more. They will, they will come find you. So if, um, if you do this, if you're already getting business using that method, you will definitely double your sales. And if you're not getting any uh, comments or feedback or likes or sales from the method that you're using of just randomly posting your product, then I encourage you to sell only after you share to start getting business right? I want you to get business. I want you to get more sales from members of these Facebook groups. You just have to do it the right way or it won't work for you. And Facebook groups can be very lucrative um, across a variety of industries. That's what's so great. I don't care if you do hair, um, if you own a grocery store, if you own a coaching company, um, if you're a massage therapist, if you're a real estate agent, the great thing about Facebook groups is they have one for everything. If you quilt, if you're a Sherlock fan, by the way, if you are, a new Sherlock season is coming up in January for all you Benedict Cumber, uh, Cumberbatch fans. And if you have not seen Doctor Strange, you may want to go do that because it's really good. It's a little emotional in the beginning of the movie. Um, it's really good. So that is the three tips that I wanted to share about how to use Facebook groups to get more sales. So tell me your thoughts. What do you think? Do you use these strategies? Do you have more? Definitely comment below. Let me know. I'm so interested to hear um, what you've seen, what you've done, and what tips you have found to be most effective when getting more business from Facebook groups. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and if you would like weekly tips delivered right to your inbox, go to growmybrand.org, growmybrand.org, and you'll see a pop-up after, you know, two seconds of being on the site. And if you put your email there, I will deliver tips directly to you and only you every week. Have a great day. Bye.